Good morning, guys. Hello, everyone. I hope that this finds you all good. Um, I just wanted to say hello and touch base and um, welcome you again to Taming a Hot Mess Life. Remember, it's a hot mess life that we came from, the hot mess life we're working to tame, and the hot mess life we're learning to celebrate. So today, I wanted to celebrate a couple of things with you. Um, over the weekend, we went and celebrated the amazing life of my father-in-law. He, wow, an amazing pillar of the community in Seattle. He was um, a groundbreaking African-American man, very educated, and um, the lives that he touched during his 91 years on earth, amazing. There were, he was a principal at one point, and I met people that knew him when he was their principal. He was a teacher. He was um, a member of a lot of political and philanthropy groups in Seattle, as well as um, a founding member of the Head Start program in the entire Northwest. So what a beautiful weekend to be able to celebrate the life of him. And um, the takeaways that I took was, you know, life is to be lived and life is to be influenced. Life, um, our purpose is to bring people along with us, right? So however we can, we should be touching the lives of those around us in one way or another. It's been, um, there was a lot of emotions this last weekend, um, obviously saying goodbye to such a wonderful man. He really touched my life and gave me a great gift of his family. Like his legacy is amazing and the family that he left behind and the love that they have to share with everyone was really quite amazing. Um, I also got to spend the weekend with my beautiful grandkids, my grandboys, six and five, six and three years old. And they're amazing. They, um, they have nothing but love to give their Gigi. Like, um, I'm special because I only get to see them, mm, I don't know, four or five times a year, which is, you know, still a lot, but when I get to see them, it's super special. They can't wait to see me. They can't wait to shower me with love. They cannot wait to um, play with me. And and I I soak it up. You know what they do? They fill my bucket. When my bucket is running low, I just need to hop on over and visit with those babies. And I'm good. I'm good to go. So the emotions that um, I experienced this weekend were the highs and the lows. Like the highest of the highs and the lowest of the lows. And I think that's how our journey is going to be. It's how our journey has always been. We just need to jump in, or a lot of people refer to lean in. Lean into it. Allow yourself to experience the highest of the highs and, and allow yourself to feel all the feels in the low of the low, the lowest of the lows. Just we we so often think that, we're so afraid of of the highs. We're so afraid of the lows. Maybe not the highs, obviously. We're not afraid of the highs unless we get a little, well, well you know. But the lows. We're always afraid of the lows, and we shouldn't be. Um, last week, one of my very best friends sent me a Bible verse. And it it was so for me for that day. And guess what? It's still for me today. So I'm going to share it with you. And I hope that it brings you some comfort because it really did for me. It really did. It feels like I've been in the lowest of the lows for the last several weeks. Um, packing the house and trying to design the future life that I have in front of me. All while mourning the loss and trying really hard not to camp out in the lowest of the lows. So um, I'm going to share this with you, and I hope that it brings you a little something like it brought me. It's Isaiah 43, verse 18 and 19. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a new way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. How beautiful is that? Let go of the old things. Let go of it. 
Remember earlier in one of my other videos, I talked about what are we being released from instead of thinking, what am I losing or what am I giving up or what do I have to let go of? We should be thinking of what are we being released from? Forget the former things. Don't dwell on the past. So life threw you a curveball. You lean away from it. You lean into it. You got to avoid that ball, right? But you got to lean one way or another. So you choose which way you're going to lean. And don't worry about the past. What are you being released from? What is God releasing you from? What is the universe releasing from you from? Because guess what? There's something new coming along. I am doing a new thing. I am making a new way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. This was so huge for me because in all my grief and all my sadness and in all my, oh, poor me, how could this be happening to me? God's working on something beautiful and amazing for me. He is creating streams in a wasteland and he's doing the same for you too. Or the universe is doing the same for you too. Or, or whatever is happening, it's making way for something new and wonderful. We're being released from something so that we can be better for something else. So there's my little, my little something for you today. I hope that you have a wonderful day. I love you guys. I appreciate you. And I can't wait to take you along this journey because my purpose is yet to be defined, right? We're all going to figure it out as we go. But my purpose involves you. So thanks for being with me continue to be with me. Let me know how this made you feel in the text. Uh, if it gave you encouragement, if it gave you any of the feels today. So make it a great day. Happy Thursday. God bless you.